everyone, welcome to today's episode. We've got a great episode lineup, and guess what, Con? What? We're gonna start our first uh, segment in the kitchen and we're gonna be cooking some beautiful mini turkey meatloaves. Yeah, we refer to them as mini, 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 <laughs> mini meatloaves because they are fantastic. I love watching Nikki cook them. I love smelling the, the, the recipe as it's happening. And the best of all, the best part is the eating part. That's the best part. Yeah. But remember, they're gonna be in portion sizes, so we're not gonna eat too much, but it's gonna be delicious and we're gonna serve it with some broccoli. Now, after we've had something to eat, Con, I'm sure we need to jump around a bit. Yeah, it's time to <laughs> pump it. Pump it. Now, we're going to move over to the lounge room, which is just over here. And as you can see, we've got a glorious rainy day today because it is winter here. But nonetheless, we're going to do the best we can with what we've got. We've got a great new exercise that you can do. We're going to do a tutorial after the exercise as well. So it doesn't matter what level you're at, you're going to find a way to do the exercise with us. Yeah. Yeah, so it should be a great show. Stay tuned and we'll see you real back. Real soon in the kitchen. Yep, yeah, let's get there. Well, who loves meatloaf? I do. And today, I'm going to show you how to go from this to this in no time at all. And it's going to be sensational. Now, do they look delicious or what? Now we're going to have a look at the ingredients. There's a few of them, but trust me, the flavour is going to be sensational. 500 grams of turkey mitts. One celery stalk finely chopped. One lightly beaten egg. One finely chopped red onion. Two crushed garlic cloves. One green apple peeled and grated. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. One tablespoon of finely chopped sage. One cup of fresh wholemeal breadcrumbs and two tablespoons of cranberry sauce and last but not least some sliced prosciutto okay now our fry pan has heated up and we've heated up the two tablespoons of olive oil and now we're going to fry off a few of the ingredients before we put all the mixture together Smells great. Okay, now, as you can see, the onion, the celery, and the garlic has softened now, and what we're gonna do is basically make our mixture. So we put in our turkey mince, okay? Drop in the breadcrumbs, egg, sage, how easy is that to prepare? And we're going to put in the rest of our mixture and then I'm going to get my hands kneading that mixture together. That was easy. Now, what I'm going to do is take the mixture and make four portions out of that and mold it with my hands into some nice little sort of big egg shape and then we're going to wrap it in the prosciutto and bake it. So there they are, ready on the baking tray, which is just lined with a bit of baking paper. Now, we've got the cranberry sauce, and I've just heated that up a little bit so it's a little bit softer, it's easier to spread. And guess what? We're gonna glaze them on top, just like that, before they go into the oven. My little baby turkey meatloaves are going in the oven. 180 degrees for about 30 minutes. Fabulous. So, what I've done is I've just sliced up one of the mini meatloaves now and I've put on some steamed broccoli next to that. Okay, no dressing, you don't need it. Taste the food. It tastes fantastic when it's just steamed. So that is our beautiful prepared meal. You can have it for lunch or you can have it for dinner and it's gonna be sensational. 
Now, I'm sure you agree, after watching that, the last thing you want to do is exercise, right? <laughs> but, but look, let's not focus on the exercise a bit yet. Let's focus on the fact of just how great a recipe that was. Wasn't yeah. it absolutely awesome? Now, the thing is, you can do that recipe. It's easy to cook. Just follow Nikki's um, instructions. Watch how I eat it, and then everything <laughs> should be fine, right? <laughs> absolutely. So what's next now? All right, so next now, Con's going to be jumping around a bit and show you <laughs> how to exercise Can't wait. so let's we can go. get fit and healthy. Let's go over here, okay? So let's go, see you soon. Don't do this. I just climbed a mountain. Look, the whole mountain to do this exercise. We bring this exercise to you. It's called mountain climber lunges. So if you haven't got any mountains where you are, you can watch this and mount, climb the mountains like we did. Okay, so this is a three minute workout. I'm glad you're back. And this is how it goes. Nikki's going to hit that button, and we're going to begin. Oh, okay. So okay. straight into the mount. Oh, lunges. Yep. Lunges, lunge forward, lunge back. On one side. On one side. Beautiful. One hundred and one. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's one minute. Okay. So just keep I'm going. I'm keeping count. Okay. I, it's, a, it's a minute. One thirty-five. It's a minute. It's not how many you do. It's that you do them properly. Okay. That you lunge forward and lunge back. You go nice and deep, your upper body is upright. That's it, excellent. Now, that's 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Who comes up with these routines? <laughs> I wonder. All right, that's it. Now remember, it's a minute, so just pace yourself con. If it gets a little bit harder, just go a little bit slower, or don't go as deep. Or you could always put your hands on your thigh as you come down. Excellent, that's it. Now as soon as the mother goes, we're into the mountain climbers. Let's drop down now and go. Punch them out. That's it. Lovely. That's it. Bring those knees in beautifully. That's it, Con. You're doing great. You're doing great. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Less than 30 seconds to go. Less than 30 seconds to go. Why do you do lunges? Can, listen, remember, you can put a bigger pause, okay? Or you can step back if it gets really, really hard. But now I'm here, honey. Keep going. Come on. That's it. Push it. Really extend those legs back. That's it. Keep your bottom down. Beautiful, time is about to go off. That's it, excellent, I told you, okay. Beautiful, let's go into the lunges now. The other side, the other side, let's go. Lunge forward and then back. That's it. Why are you laughing, Coach? No, I don't think it's very funny. And back, that's it. That's it, well done, well done. Pace yourself. That's it, excellent. Beautiful. That front knee is sitting beautifully. It's not going over your toes. Excellent. Keep going. Less than 30 seconds to go. Remember, it's only three minutes and we're almost, time is almost up. Keep the upper body up for it. Come on. That's it. Punch them out. Am I sweating? <laughs> is that all you're worried about? Sweat. <laughs> Keep going. Come on. Come on. My legs are like... That's it. Oh. You better feed me. Oh. Ouchie, ouchie. Hi everyone. I'm just practicing what I'm about to teach you. Because you should always practice what you preach. Okay, I'm just doing here a called a mountain climber lunges. And as you can see, it involves two exercises. So this is how it actually works. The lunge part, basically we stand up nice and tall and we basically lunge forward. Lunging like this, coming down, then lunging back. Bring the back knee down. A lunge is always the knee. Bring the knee down and back. Then down and back. Now, if that's too hard for you, use your hands. Okay? If that's too hard for you, just step. Break the knee a little bit. 
step, break the knee a little bit. Now we're going to do that for a period of a minute, right? The next step after that is to do the mountain climbers. And what's a mountain climber? Well, pretend this is my mountain and I'm climbing it. Basically I have one foot forward like this, one foot back, and I simply jump and switch. Okay, but you're going to do it nice and quick. Now if that's too hard for you, you might do a smaller one. And if that's really too hard for you, you might do like four. And stop. And stop. Everyone can do it, okay? Once you've done that, you then go back to the lunges, but this time, you focus on the other leg. So it's forward, and then back. Forward, and back. If it's too hard, remember, use the hands. If that's still too hard, just bend your knee a little bit. Okay, so, that's the mountain climber lunges. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> no, I'm Con. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time, bye-bye. Now wasn't that fun? And remember, we told you, you don't have to be in an advanced level, you can be at any level. So make sure you watch the tutorial each really? time. <laughs> that was hard. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was hard. But the purpose is for everyone to join in, okay? So if you haven't started yet, join in next time, all right? So next week, Con, what well, have we got lined up? Well, we've got a great new a recipe like our usual, but this time we've got our influence from the sea. And we're going to cook a salmon recipe, mm. but a little bit oriental style. Yes, yeah. beautiful. That should be very, very nice with a bit of a green salad. So if you're not sure how to cook salmon and you want to know how and you want to make it healthy and delicious, watch next week's episode. It's well worth it. Now, we also obviously have to exercise everybody. That's right. And I've got a great new exercise for everyone. Um, again, it's got an oriental influence. I won't <laughs> tell you what it is, but remember, it's going to go perfect with your salmon. Just make sure you do the exercise first and the salmon <laughs> after, okay? So we hope to see you all uh, next week. I'm Con. I'm Nikki. We'll Thanks see you for again. watching. See you Bye. next week. <laughs>